Hola, bonjour, namaste, ni hao. I am Piro the Parrot. Welcome to my home, the transcultural group TCG Garden. Together, we're going to embark on journeys all around the world, exploring different cultures and festivities. Please come with me. Today, we will be venturing out to the ever-famous and ever-green Tree of Christmas. We will be creating our very own TCG Christmas experience by exploring the origins, customs, traditions, food, and drinks that accompany the festivities. Christmas is an annual festival that observes the birth of Jesus Christ. It was originally termed Christ's Mass. It is celebrated religiously and culturally by billions of people across the world, both Christians and non-Christians alike. Christmas was first recorded as being celebrated on December 25th in 336 CE, during the time of the Roman Emperor Constantine, the first Christian Roman Emperor. Following that, Pope Julius I formally declared that the birth of Jesus would be celebrated on this day. In Europe, winter festivals and winter solstice celebrations were very popular with pagan and other pre-Christian religions. Some of these traditions have been incorporated into modern Christmas customs. To children all around the world, Christmas is an exciting time of receiving presents from Santa Claus. Santa Claus, also known as Father Christmas or Saint Nick, is a mythical character believed to be living in the North Pole. His elves run a workshop where they make toys for all the world's children. On Christmas Eve, Santa delivers the presents on a sleigh pulled by flying reindeer. Please let me introduce you, Stuart the Squirrel, who shall share with you the traditions we follow during Christmas. Hello! Hola! Fellas never died, my friends! Let's begin this special and exciting journey! The story of Santa Claus was developed from the life of a real person, a 4th century Dutch bishop in Mira, Saint Nicholas. He became known as the patron saint of children. His feast day was celebrated on December 6th with the giving of gifts. Over time, as the figure spread over to England, he became known as Father Christmas, and his celebration was moved to coincide with Christmas Day. In the 19th and 20th century, his image evolved through poems, advertisements, comics, and songs. One of the most famous traditions of Christmas is the setting up and decorating of a Christmas tree. This tradition most likely began in Germany in the 18th century and was later practiced by Prince Albert at the royal household with Queen Victoria when he went to Britain. By 1841, it had a strong presence in British celebration and by 1870, it had spread to the United States. The tree is usually an evergreen conifer, such as spruce, pine, or fir. Today, some people prefer to use artificial trees. The trees are decorated with garland, tinsel, candy canes, baubles, and other contemporary ornaments. Wrapped gifts are placed under the Christmas tree. Families gather on Christmas morning to unwrap them together. In families with small children, some or all of the presents are said to have been given by Santa Claus. I love presents, Stuart! Will I receive one from you this year? Piero, my friend, of course I have one ready for your Christmas stocking this year. Christmas stockings are another tradition involving gift giving. Christmas stockings are sock shaped bags that are hung up and filled with small gifts, candy and coins. This is done by Santa. Or it can be a casual gift exchange between family and friends. Tradition dictates that bad children would only receive coal in their stockings. But this rarely, if ever, happens. Stockings can be store-bought or made complete with each family member's name in order for Santa to tell them apart. Originating from the 18th century in Germany, 
Candles were used to decorate Christmas trees, a practice reserved for the wealthy. Electric Christmas lights, known as fairy lights in the UK, began to replace them in the early 20th century. By the mid-20th century, when electric lights became more affordable, most homes had begun stringing up lights, not only on their trees, but their doorways, roofs, and railings as well. Today, Christmas lights adorn many businesses and public venues, as well as tourist attractions like the Eiffel Tower and the Sydney Opera House. Plants associated with Christmas include mistletoe, ivy, and holly. Holly and conifer branches are used to make wreaths, which are hung on the front door of the house. Pine cones and berries are also used on wreaths. Christmas carols originated during 4th century Rome as hymns sung in Latin. By the 9th and 10th century, Christmas prose was recited in North European monasteries as sequences of rhyme stanzas. In 1426, the first Christmas carols in English are recorded in work by John Audelay. They were sung by way sailors who went from house to house performing. Today, carols are sung in churches, but are also a way to collect money for various charities. A Christmas family meal is traditional and an important part of the celebration. The food that is served varies depending on region. It can include turkey, fish, potatoes, ham, and various desserts such as pie, cookies, and cake. Mmm, that sounds really yummy! Stuart, what about that special cake that I love so much? I think you must be talking about the Yule Log Cake, Piro. The Yule Log Cake, or Bouche de Noël, originated in France in the 19th century. It is traditionally made from a genoise, an Italian sponge cake, and ice with chocolate buttercream, then rolled to form a cylinder. Today, many flavour variations exist. The cakes are usually decorated to look like real logs, complete with powdered sugared snow and meringue mushrooms. By the way, Piero, have you ever tried eggnog before? Eggnog is a drink that is enjoyed around Christmas time, made with cream, sugar, whipped eggs, cinnamon, and a spirit. It originated in England and may have developed from a medieval European drink called posset. Due to dairy products being more commonly available in America and Canada, it caught on there in the 18th century. Depending on the region, the spirit used may be whiskey, bourbon, or rum. As Australia is located in the Southern Hemisphere, Christmas falls during early summer. Many Australians spend Christmas outdoors, such as going to the beach for the day. It has become traditional for tourists to go to Bondi Beach in Sydney where as many as 40,000 may visit on Christmas Day. Christmas meals often take the form of the Aussie favourite Barbecue. Seafood such as lobsters, prawns, and crayfish, as well as cuts of steak and chicken, are common on trays. I can imagine how nice it is to surf the waves on Christmas Day and enjoy a beach barbecue at night. Yes, Piero. It would be a really unique Christmas experience for those who are from the Northern Hemisphere. Don't you think so? Instead of the song Dreaming of a White Christmas, we shall play dreaming of a sunny Christmas. As there are only a small number of Christians in Japan, the Christmas holiday is mostly celebrated secularly. In 1974, KFC began to promote fried chicken as a Christmas meal with its long-running Kentucky for Christmas advertising campaign. Eating KFC as a Christmas time meal has since become a widely practiced family tradition in Japan. A common dessert very much enjoyed in Japan during Christmas is a white sponge cake decorated with cream and strawberries. In Brazil, the Christmas meal is usually served in the evening, on 24th December, including dishes of fresh vegetables, such as cova mineria, which is kale seasoned with garlic, fruit and Brazil nuts. There are also dishes of colourful rice, roast pork, roast turkey, and fish. Again, in Brazil, since it's part of the Southern Hemisphere, Christmas there will be a sunny one as well. 
Well, Piero, and my friends, I will need to get myself ready for Christmas. Be it a white or a sunny Christmas, I hope you will have a fun time wherever you are. Merry Christmas! Stuart, thanks again for sharing. It has been great! Merry Christmas to you too! Does your country celebrate Christmas in a unique way too? Anyway, I hope you had a lovely adventure on the Tree of Christmas. Now, please proceed to the quiz circle. I look forward to you joining me on our next exploration. Goodbye. Au revoir. Namaste. Zai Tian.